Little tip for you. You find any coinage while you're out there, you'll be sure to pawn it off to that old Kiron. Boatman guy, use it or lose it, pal. Use it or lose it. Thanks, mate. Note to self, always spend everything I earn instead of ever saving. Got something new to try. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly, in contrast to the terrifying sprawl that lies beyond. It's not that orderly, really. Open up. Aegis, the shield of chaos. Lend me your power. Change of plan there, huh? Oh, yeah. I need.
Doomstone. Athena, without whom I would assuredly be lost. This is an unexpected gesture, cousin. I do appreciate it, though please do not feel obliged. I offer you my friendship, not alone to be repaid. Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time, and Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Athena's power. Within the depths of Tartarus reside the most wretched of all the shades who linger for eternity within the underworld, whose lord and master is especially unkind to those attempting to cheat death. Lots of wretchedness to go around, I guess. You're back. Welcome. You know, Prince Ed, I've not expected to run into you again, not after all this time. Something I missed down in the house, or what? Not had much company of late, is all. Well, something's just about always in us back home, sir. Figured it couldn't hurt to check up on things in Tartarus a bit more frequently. 
While I am grateful for it, I am the old boulder there in turn. I'm used to going lengthy stretches on my own, but having visitors from time to time would do me well. Makes sense to me. Oh, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Pleasure, it feels unseemly to make contact from that most unpleasant boatman's stash of ill-gotten wares. Nonetheless, this was an opportunity. I've got to say, you are a sight for sore eyes there, Charon. So, uh... Looks like you're selling, is that it? You come to help me out? Brilliant. We meet again. <coughs> what are you doing, Zagreus? The underworld is sealed off. What you're attempting is impossible. You've seen what happens when you go too far. This place can't stay sealed shut forever, Meg. In the meantime, I thought I'd get some practice in, you know? I'm not your practice partner, fool. that time, Meg. Blood. Trip like you, boy. Don't know any other way. My keepsakes. Let's think about this. Take this one. Nowhere to go but up. In the bag. Getting warmer.
Mine now. Where now? What? Singing? Here? Come on in. Okay. No further debts to be paid. Hey, you must be the Hades kid. How's it going then, your royal majesty? Nice to meet you. I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like this? Hi there. No need for formalities. I'm Zagreus. Just heading out on some official business past the menacing Bone Hydra. Don't mean to be rude, though I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, don't you have your hands full, hon? I'll let you go. But there's one rule in my place, which is nobody leaves here empty handed. You got that? So take your pick. My treat. so much. Bye. See you. Wave makers. Darkness. Should be something useful here. Why not? Moving on. Fury, haven't you? Oh, I know a thing or two about that one. Though lately we Olympians no longer mingle with those living in the underworld. You're the only exception. Love and loss. The act of sorcery often ends in an untimely death and an eternity in Tartarus for careless souls. Though some are able to perfect the trade and take up permanent residence elsewhere. I'm sure the Witch's Circle will reconvene soon enough. More bloodless.
looks like a better choice to make. Wisely decided, cousin. You dare to play with my heart, little godling? I'll just take yours and shatter it to pieces then, I think. Don't hate me, Aphrodite. Guess she's upset. <laughs> than anger me. Just have to try again. Welcome back. Shades of the dead mill constantly within the house, complaining of their woes and seeking audience from any who would listen. I listen. It's usually pretty quiet keeping watch over the pool of sticks back there, but it's sure been busy lately. Why, somebody else came through just earlier. You should have seen the look on my face when it wasn't you. Glad to keep things interesting. You never learn. You call my chambers a mess. Look at your desk, father. Whatever happened to your court musician, huh? Where's his sentencing parchment work? Stuck in Tartarus all because he stopped singing for you on command. My desk is far more organized than you, boy. And if you're so concerned about our court musician, why don't you commute a sentence yourself? Seeing as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Sure, happy to oblige. I'll just ask the house contractor since you're too busy. Contractor, mind locating the court musician's sentence when you get the chance? There we go. In the name of Hades, I commute our court musician sentencing effective now. Oh, um, hello. Ah, Orpheus. Oh, hello, Zagreus. I understand you liberated me from my eternal punishment. And so I have returned to serve your father here. Thanks. Orpheus, you're back. Look, don't get on Father's bad side like that and you're going to be fine. Besides, right now I think he's angry with me. I grieve for you, my friend. But if you've come to ask me for a song, why? I'm afraid I must stand firm about my answer. It's all right. Father can't make you sing if you don't want to. You're back. Achilles, is it really true that Cerberus ripped the lounge up right after I left? He must have gotten in a lot of trouble. I only wish you could have seen it, lad. The place looked like a vineyard after a typhoon. Your Lord Father was livid, but he never gets so angry with the dog. Poor Dusa, though, she's picking the place up. Oh no. I wonder what became of Dusa. She's always worried Father's going to fire her, even without something like this. I wonder where Nyx went. Who am I to question fate? Tartarus is gloomy enough without Orpheus in it. <laughs> 